Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. I hope you're all okay. Today we're going to decorate this sign. This came from the works and it was just £1.50. I just left the price on just to show you all. They have loads of like blank MDF stuff in the works. Really quite cheap as well. So I thought that would be sort of quite cute to make a, a little sign out of. Now you get some string on it. You can change the little string or you can keep... Or you can keep it. What I'm going to do is just take it off for the purpose of um, this video. Now these little stickers, sometimes they come off really easy and sometimes they're a pain, but that one came off okay. So I'm going to start by painting the front and I'm going to use chalk paint, but you can use acrylic paint if you want to. Use any paint you want really. Um, this is the Vintage with Grace and I'm using the one called Tutu. So I've just got this old brush, excuse the state of the brush, and we're going to go over the top and just literally paint it. I'll probably do a couple of coats. Um, now, I'm going to be using, this brush is really old, um, I'm going to be using a napkin to help decorate the top. And it's a technique called decoupage, if you're not familiar with it. I've got lots and lots of videos on decoupage in um, a playlist and it really makes it look like you know what you're doing if you do that as a craft. You don't have to be very skilled at all and it really makes something look good. So check that playlist out. I'll put the playlist in um, so you can see. So we'll be doing a bit of that today. If you've never seen it before, then you'll probably find it quite interesting if not, if you have seen it before, you'll probably still find it quite interesting. So I'll give this two coats, let it dry, and then we'll start with the napkin. Right, so that's done. That's dry, or as dry as it can be. And what we're going to do now is to pop the napkin over the top. Now, you can put any kind of napkin that you want, but the only thing I would say is make sure your background colour is the same or similar to the background of the napkin. Now this one I think is really cool. It's a, like a cake stand with some cupcakes on. But you can do loads of different things. I've even got some rice paper here. Obviously it's not quite the right background. But you could put like a home sweet home on. That would look really cool. You can also print out some lettering on a Cricut machine. If you've got one of those you could do that. You could stencil some writing on. That would look cool. I've got one of these napkins here which I think looks pretty good and I think that would look good on the front so what I'm going to do is just cut out one quarter of the design and then we'll go around it with some water and what that does is it helps just to separate um, the napkin because all we need is the top part of the napkin um, so lots of you would have been with me a long time so you would have seen me do this many many times um, so you get your napkin there I'm going to split this up so I'm going to do the Buddha probably first so you get some water on your brush and you go around the napkin very gently and what you're doing here is you're wetting the napkin that will help us to be able to tear it and um, it should rip quite easily so I'm going to put those on no I'm going to take those off those stones at the bottom so I'm going to mix and match really and put the flowers on separately and I have got some more because this napkin's repetitive, so I've got four. So if I need to use more flowers, then I can do that. So what you do is you get your fingers like that and you just use them to tear around really, really carefully because remember the napkin's quite thin. So you go around the little track that you've made in water and go all the way around and then we'll separate the plies. So I've gone around that one. I've also done the same to these flowers as well. Now what we've got to do is to separate the plies. Now napkins normally come with three ply. All I do is just wet my fingers and just use that just to um, you just get the ply and pull that off. And all you want is just a top layer. It's really thin, so be dead careful. And I'm going to use some of the matte finish the, um, from the Fairy Chic Emporium. You can use Mod Podge, that works really well. I um, like this because it's just a little bit thinner. So what I'm going to do is to put some of the matte finish 
onto the board here. This brush is awful, but we'll roll, roll with it. So because I'll be covering all of this in matte finish, it won't matter where I paint it because it acts as a sealer as well. And then you get your napkin. I'm just going to put a tiny bit more in this corner. And you place it where you want it to go. And then you can get some cling film if you've got some cling film. If you want to make reusable, just get one of these little pocket file folders, you know, that you put in your, your documents in. And just put that over the top because don't touch the napkin while it's wet because it will literally just crumble. So that's why you put like a little protective thing over the top. And you just smooth out all the little wrinkly bits. Hey, wouldn't it be good if you could have a facelift like this? Just put one of these on and just smooth all your wrinkly bits away. Right, then take that off. And you will probably have some more, but I think that looks pretty cool as it is. Now, if you've got any bits like I have here that are not quite stuck, you can very, very gently go over it. But do not keep going over the napkin because you will regret it. Trust me, from a girl that's done it before, I just kind of like get these little bits off very carefully because that can rip it as well. And we'll need to leave that to dry, but I am going to do first the flowers. So I'm going to put the flowers round the edge. So these are just from the same napkin. Again, I've just licked my fingers take those off and we'll stick those down in the same way but you can you can put all sorts on you can decorate it in all sorts of different ways really just whatever you you know whatever your decor is all right what i'm going to do with this bit is i'm going to run it slightly over the edge because i think that looks quite nice because we can, we can just get that little bit off at the end. Don't try and cut it off now because it will probably rip. So we just use a little nail file to get that off. So there's that part. I keep knocking the tripod, I'm sorry. And I'll just do the same on the other side. All right, so this little bit on the side here, I'm just going to use a nail file just to get that off. And that's what you need to do with any little side bits. Now, if you want to leave it like that, you can just leave it like that um, with just a napkin on if you're just starting out. Put some more of your Mod Podge or your matte finish over the top and that just seals it. I'm going to put some of this. Um, it's like a wax. It's a beeswax based paste. And um, I'm just going to put a little bit of that around the edge. Now, I'm presuming I can use one of these little dabbery things around the edge. Um so this is just going to add a little bit of like gold. I normally just use my finger to be quite honest, but just put a little bit of this round as much or as little as you want, just to give it a bit of extra pizzazz. Um, also, it will need sealing as well because there are parts on it that haven't been sealed. So just buy, go over it with some more of the matte finish. And then what that does is it makes it so it won't get scratched or it won't get marked or anything like this. Now, this is really quite cool paste. What you could do is it's not going on too thick. So I could bring it up a little bit. and Just go into these little creases and crevices here and just do it quite lightly and then in certain areas we can just make it darker around so it just kind of blends it in a little bit and there's not such a, a difference if that makes sense so just lightly does it go around go around the edge and then I'll be back with you. Once you've gone over it, I um, 
just going to make sure I seal it so it doesn't all come off. If you've got some spray sealer, that's just super quick. Just a quick spritz over and you're done. So that works a lot better. I've popped the string back on and I think it looks really, really cool. I'm going to put this in my bedroom. So I think it looks quite smart. Now to match my bedroom, I'm going to put some of these flowers on the top. These are just like silky flowers. I think they'd look quite cute. Maybe I should have pulled this down a little bit more if I'm going to put those at the top. But I think it looks, looks nice whichever way. So... That's it really. So it just goes to show you can get just something really simple and plain and you can paint it up and you can just make it match to your to your decor. So all I'm doing is popping these on with hot glue gun and then that will be it finished. And I hope that I've inspired you to have a go at doing something like this. Um, and that's about it. So that's it from me. I hope you're all okay and I'll see you again soon. You take care. Bye for now.